Well met, Rook. How did you get here? I did tell you I had my ways through Alluvians when I introduced you to the Inquisitor, did I not? The Alluvians in general, yes, but not the Dreadwolf's crossroads. I would think you have more pressing questions at the moment. Questions about Solus and Mithal? Mithal? The two gods have always been linked, have they not? First, when Mithal bade her companion spirit to abandon the Fade and take on mortal form. Then, when Solus spilled Mithal's mortal blood, that he might absorb her power as his own. Wait. How do you know exactly what we saw of Solus's past? Think upon it, Rook. You saw for yourself in the Dreadwolf's memories. When Mithal stood against the gods' manipulations of the Blight, she was betrayed and struck down. Yet she survived and returned ages later to aid the Inquisition in its hour of need. How? So, if Mithal was originally a spirit, maybe that's how she survived her body's death. Very good. Mithal was a spirit turned elven. And when her body was struck down to spirit, she returned. Her essence sheltered in a willing mortal vessel. Over the centuries, she journeyed from host to host, slowly amassing her former power anew. Until once again, she was struck down, on this occasion, by Solus. He absorbed her power, but not her memories. Then where did they... Wait. You? As you say. Your Mithal? That's why the ambient magic around you is so fractured. Such a flattering picture you paint of this ancient bond. What? That was like how Elganon and Gilanin can talk in your head, but... Twas Mithal you heard, her echoes. Yet I am not the goddess returned. What are you then? I once feared Mithal would consume me were I to carry her, but twas not so. I remain free-willed and mortal. What I now possess is but a spark of Mithal, shadowed memories through which to sift for meaning. As to our admixture, I suspect you have questions. Do you have information we can use against Gilanine or Elganon? Or Solus? The last time Mathal faced Elganon and Gilanine, she was struck down by the very dagger you now carry. And what about Solus? You may recall he murdered Mathal's former host to claim her godly might as his own. I hoard no untapped magical secrets, Rook. What I do possess, I share freely with you and the Veil Jumpers. All right. You would have met Solus in the Inquisition, right? I did indeed. Twas before I possessed Mithal's memories. At the time, I thought Solus a scowling elven apostate whose sole passion was finding arguments. He heard me, in all my ignorance, expound on the histories of the elven people, explaining legends he had witnessed himself. <laughs> Bet he loved that. Tis not a memory that brings me pride. So, there's the soul of an elven god inside you. How does that even happen? Mathal's last host was my mother, Flemeth. Oh. When I learned she intended me to become the next receptacle of an ancient god's soul, I feared naught would be left of my own. It inevitably came to pass on a deep night. I was awakened by the presence of a blaze of magic in the shape of a woman who both was and was not my mother. I don't think I'd recover from that. Neither did I, at the start. Mathal's memories were both gift and burden, this blazing woman told me. But I must accept them of my own accord. The decision was paralyzing. 
What would it mean to become such a host? What would be lost if I refused? In the end, it was something in my mother's voice which guided me. What was that? Regret. Not the regret of a god, but of a mother who knew she would never see me again. And so, my mind remains my own. What I gained was knowledge, both Mathal's and of those who bore her. How can you carry Mithal's soul if you're not an elf? Her spark has sheltered within both elves and humans who were sympathetic to her in thought and circumstance. Mathal's last host was a woman wronged, trapped by those sworn to love her. We may readily imagine their kinship. The fall of our civilization. The wars, everything elves went through. Where was Mithal for us then? After the gods' betrayal, she was a shadow of her former self, bereft of her power, slowly regaining her strength over the centuries. So she aided the elves as she could, speaking in dreams and offering counsel that ended blights and prevented wars. <sighs> At least now we know. You didn't come out here just to tell me you're Mithal. I am not Mithal in her entirety, but yes. The Dreadwolf has occasion to visit you in dreams, where he portions out advice. And now, after finding his memories, you have peered into his deepest sorrows. Tell me then, what do you make of Solus? I should ask you. Mithal knew Solus better than anyone. I would influence your answer. Or do you mean to discover if I would stand directly against the Dread Wolf, were there a need? Would you? I shall aid you in any way but that, even had I the power. What has passed between Solus and Mithal? I beg you, do not ask this of me again. Every decision he made, Solus thought he could save people, stop things from getting worse. Now his only way forward is a plan so terrible his last friends had to stop it. An unfortunate belief that all paths are closed but those one has already taken. There might have been a better choice. It is not malice which made Solus your opponent, but conviction. A belief that only he may halt what he set in motion. Yet Solus was once beloved of Mithal. Tis his very loyalty and love for his people that led to the tragedy we now face. You may be in a position to determine how it ends, more so than either of you might realize. If that's what it takes. Such determination. Have you not even a tremor of doubt? Wouldn't do me any good. If you would shape the outcome of your battle, I've one last secret to share. When Mathal was struck down by the other gods, it was with her own Lyrium dagger, the dagger you now carry. Solus recovered it from Elgonon, and from it extracted a fragment of Mathal that had lain hidden within its depths. This fragment, a younger sister to the one I carry, if you will, resides here, in the crossroads. I can open the way for you. Find her, survive the encounter, and the essence you obtain will aid you in times to come. Another fragment of Mathal? In addition to the one inside you? You are aware of what the word fragment means, are you not? One small piece of many, formed when something greater is broken. The first elves were spirits, as you well know, and when a spirit is broken, it may shatter into pieces, each holding part of the original. Among the ancient elves who became known as gods, Dirthamon and his brother, Falondine, are but one example. All of that sounded great until survived the encounter. 
You know Solus, and have seen Elganon, and memories of Mathal. They are creatures of emotion, as all spirits are. The fragment of Mathal that resides in me lived among mortals for thousands of years. She has grown wiser and more patient. This younger sister has not. She is the essence of Mathal as a god. She is unlikely to listen to polite requests, and though she is but a fragment of the goddess, the battle will test you sorely. If she's just going to attack us, why tell us about her at all? We have enough enemies already. A fragment of a god's essence is a powerful thing. It may give you options against Algonan and Gelanain, or against the Dreadwolf himself, should he prove as cunning and treacherous as ever. If I were to try to talk with her, do you have any suggestions? She will demand respect, but detest flattery. She appreciates righteous anger, but will not tolerate pity. She is, for want of better phrasing, prickly. But if you are determined to try, then I wish you luck. What kind of spirit was Mathal before she became an elf? I know Solus is elven for pride. Mathal enjoyed ruling and having power, but it came not from the overweening desire to crush resistance, as is the case with Elganon. The emotion that inspired her might best be described as benevolence, a guiding hand inclined to kindness. But like any spirit, when angered or twisted against her purpose, a more violent aspect arose. Where the Dreadwolf's wisdom gave way to pride when the world did not meet his standards, Mathal's benevolence gave way to retribution. After all, when kindness fails, the guilty must be punished. You would know this aspect of Mithal better than anyone. Could you try talking to her? I dare say she would attack me on sight. Spirits can't get along with fragments of each other. Spirits, certainly. But the aspects of a self-righteous god who have walked different paths for ages? One bears the insult of her betrayal by the Evanuris, and then by Solus, as fresh wounds, insult upon injury. The other once fell in love with an Alamari chieftain and lived happily in a swamp for centuries. Each reminds the other that another path existed, that they could have been wrong, and nothing angers Mathal like being wrong. Thank you for the information, Morrigan. There is... One more thing, if I may. Something whispered not by myself, but Mathal. The elves have learned many of the glories and horrors of ancient Elvenon. Yet your people live in this world now as the old elves never could. Know it as they could not. There is your strength. Tis why you shall surpass what came before one day. Did Mithal see this? Is it a prediction? A hope from a mother to her distant children, no less beloved than any before them. Getting close to where Morrigan said that other fragment of Mithal was.
has to be her. Mythal herself. There's so much we could learn if... Do you think she might talk to us instead of attacking? Guess we'll find... You are Rook. I have seen you and your companions. I never again expect to see my children in the Dreadwolf's crossroads. And you know who I am. Mythal. The part of me that survived betrayal by the rest of the Evanuris, if this can be called surviving. Solas. He drew me from the dagger that struck me down, but what is left of me can only survive here. I cannot return to the world, and even the true fade is denied me. All I can do is watch. Have you come to seek the blessing of your god? Or did you come to ask your god to sacrifice herself to help you defeat the monsters Elganon and Gilanane have become? I came here to ask for your help. The gods have endangered the world, and... You dare explain to me what they are doing. You are a thousand years from knowing the proper words. We saw Solus's memories, his regrets. You saw the recollection he cultivated like a tree twisting to catch the sun. You wish for my help? Convince me. Make your case. And I will yield my essence willingly to help you against Elganan and Gilanane. Fail, and I shall kill you for wasting my time, or you will kill me and obtain my essence in doing so. A harder-edged, simpler version. It has been centuries since a petitioner stood before me, so why should I help you? If I don't stop the gods, the whole world will be corrupted by the Blight. That is why you must succeed, so tell me why I must help you. We know the truth about the Blight. We know it came from the imprisoned dreams of the Titans after you and Solus defeated them. Anne? Stopping the Blight mattered enough for you to talk with Solus, even after he rebelled against you. It mattered enough for you to stand against the other gods. And I was struck down for doing so, betrayed by those I had ruled beside for centuries. You made the difficult choice to protect your home, because it was the right thing to do. Help me do the same. Not bad, but not enough. Let us speak of something else. You can't want Elganan and Gilanane to rule the world. Not after what they did to you. I ruled alongside them for centuries. I bear them no love now, and they were ever flawed, as all rulers are. Yet they were better than the others who threatened your ancestors. Monsters like the Titans, or selfish fools like Anaris. Set the Blight aside, and tell me why I should help you topple your own gods. How am I supposed to just set the Blight aside? By making an argument not related to it, as I asked you to. The Blight is a core part of who they are, and I don't think you're in favor of it. If you wish to prove your worth, you must do better than that. I am worthy of your help. That is for me to judge. I am fighting to protect this world. Any petty tyrant can fight those who come to their land and claim to be protecting their people. What is a protector to you? It's making a place that's safe for everyone. That means defending against danger, but it also means building a strong community that works together for the common good. And what have you built? Look at my team. We're not just hired blades. We started as strangers and grew together into a family. My patience wears thin. Choose your next words carefully. Why must I give myself over to you? Solus is helping me. Solus is using you. Besides, why should I esteem the Dreadwolf's approbation? <laughs> he rebelled against me. But the two of you stayed close. Until he killed the tattered fragment of me who hid inside the human swamp witch and wept. He keeps me here, yet has not visited since waking from his slumber. 
Tell me this. What should I have done when Solus turned against me after all we had been to one another? Maybe you should have listened when he warned you about staying on as rulers after the war. Are you saying I was wrong? You asked me what you should have done. I can't prove my worth by lying to you. Solus didn't want to manifest a physical body or destroy the Titans. He did things he hated because he cared about you. Supporting you and Elganon becoming rulers was the one line he wouldn't cross. If someone who followed you everywhere refused to follow you there, what does that say? Your arguments are... compelling. I find you worthy, Rook. I have spent thousands of years watching. I shall miss that. But if what I am can protect the innocent and smite the guilty... This is what remains of me. I give it to you freely. Use it to protect this world with kindness when possible and cunning when necessary. I will. Thank you. I offer one further boon. I cannot enter the physical world or the pure Fade, but in this place, I still carry some power. Evil has intruded here. The Blight, seeded by Elganon and Gilanane. Find it, and when you meet your greatest challenge, I will fly one last time. The essence of the Protector. With Alinast. Like a piece of the sun. I've never felt something so... alive. And now, how to use it? God knows her moment, at least her essence does. When the time comes, we'll be ready. We did it. We got Mithal's essence. And we didn't even have to fight her! Not sure what we'd do with it just yet, but if Morrigan's telling the truth, it'll come in handy at some point. <laughs>